going on everybody it's Papa Stones coming back with another video so today I'm gonna be talking about the 1k that we went to over the weekend it, how it went what it seemed like what I think's gonna be rolling around at PQs and my takeaways so first things first uh, it was it wasn't actually a 1k it was more like it was based on player turnout or something like that so I want to say it was like 500 rather than 1k because there was 26 or 28 people i think uh four rounds cut to top eight yada yada um surprised it wasn't five rounds to be honest but whatever uh so i ended up getting top eight and losing my top eight match uh i'll show you the list that i played and then we'll talk about some of the matchups and what i think will be moving forward i guess so I played Bobby Yellow. I thought this event would kind of like make me feel better about this list. But we'll get into that in a little bit. We'll just go over the list first. It's uh, three Greedo, one Shoot First, Triple Hotshot DL, uh, two Cartel Spacer, two No Good to Me, three Crafty, two A New Adventure, two Boba's Armor, three Surprise Strike, three Merc Gunship, two Boba Fett. 3 7th Fleet Defender, 3 Waylay, 3 Toro Calican, 3 Cunning, 3 Forlom, 3 Bouncer, 3 Zuckus, and 3 Fire Spray. And then in the sideboard, it was basically dedicated to control, because that's this deck's worst matchup, I'm pretty sure. So my sideboard was 1 extra no good to me for the Boba matchups, uh, 2 Bodhi Rook, 3 Lurking Tie, 2 Triple Dark Raid, and 2 Tie Advanced. So, it did well enough, right? I got top 8. I went through Swiss 3-1. and one, Ended up, like I said, I lost my top 8 match. But matchup-wise, game 1, uh, I sat down. It was kind of sus, but whatever. I sat down. You know, they're like, here are pairings. We sit down. I'm across from a Boba Red. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, no offense, but I was like, oh, this is Space Turbo versus the best aggro deck in the format like i should be fine sit down haven't started and they ended up having to repair roll up and it's kira ecl and i'm like okay well that feels bad uh, i lost the first game pretty swiftly the second game i ended up winning with the tie advanced combo so it was it actually panned out like the most optimal way for me right like I played a TIE Phantom on three resources. He make an opening. And I was like, okay. Then on four resources, I played another TIE Phantom. He let it stick. I claimed. Go into five resources. I played a TIE Advanced on the Lurking TIE to make it a 4-4. And he played a Black Sun. And at that point, I was like, he won't have an answer for this TIE Phantom if I keep it around, right? So instead of, like, flipping my Boba and, you know, letting him Kira or claim to deal with the Lurking TIE, I just claimed there. He sat there and thought about it for a little while. And then, you know, he flipped Kira just to try and, like, race because he was, like, technically ahead on damage at that point. And so next turn rolls around... And I just, you know, run the tie advanced into the Black Sun. I have another tie advanced. Uh, and a cunning in hand. So I'm at six resources. I cunning the lurking tie. Bouncing something back to his hand. Giving myself plus four. So I get my resource back. I flip my boba. I attack into, you know, base. I get my extra resources. I tie advance. I swing for 12 with lurking tie. Um, next turn rolls around. I have the second cunning. I, you know, I tie her tie phantom again for twelve again. He scoops. We move on to game three. Didn't see a turn one play in my opener or the mulligan. I had a Bodhi rook and into a high Lebon enforcer as my turn three. Like it was just kind of a really bad beat. Like I didn't have a chance to win at all. So that was my loss. Moving on, we go to round two. It's another Kira ECL. Uh, the list was a bit different than the first guys. I feel like the first person's was like the most optimized, you know, like super like meta decky. 
And this one is more like a spin on it, I think. Not as meta deck as the other one. But I ended up winning that 2-0. And then went on to game three. I played the mirror match. It was very slow to be like, I mean, if I was at something like if I was at the PQs for it, I probably would have called a judge just for slow play. Like it sounds horrible, but like we were like the last game done in a boba yellow mirror and there was control decks kind of floating around everywhere. So there was that, but ended up winning that one 2 one. Uh, if you play the mirror, obviously whoever has the, better cunning play wins right like game one he cunning on turn four to buff something i cunning to exhaust it and bounce something else like it was kind of over from there like really it comes down to cunnings i feel like in the mirror match in that sense but it is what it is then last game of swiss i went up against sabine cl and if you follow meta, you probably can guess how that one went. I 2 owed that. Uh, I actually, there's a really sweet line I had at one point. It was uh, four resources, and he just wing leadered his uh, battlefield marine, I believe. Yeah, so it was a 5 5. And I have a fleet lieutenant, or not a fleet lieutenant, a uh, crafty smuggler and a boba unit. He goes into base, assuming I'll probably trade my boba to deal with the, what's it's called? Um, Battlefield Marine. But instead I smuggled out a hotshot DL onto the crafty smuggler, hit it for four, broke my shield. And then he flipped his Sabine and I used boba to attack the battlefield marine clearing it re rendering one resource so i was at two now he gives his sabina dark saber i show him the no good to me dead and he he doesn't scoop but he basically he like acknowledges at that point he's like so that's probably how this ends and it was pretty much indeed how it ended from there so so yeah i made the cut top eight uh I don't know if it's always like this, but it was higher seed gets initiative, so I was technically the sixth seed at, I don't know, considering the only guy I lost to was also in the top eight. I don't know how tiebreakers work. That's why I thought there was going to be five rounds, but it is what it is. Um, so I played against a 30 HP Boba Green, and he 2 owed me. Very convincingly the first game uh he has initiative because he's the higher seed apparently uh, i have a merc gunship in my opener no other two drops he plays a bazine rips it i don't draw another one so i do nothing uh turn two resources or whatever he has the resupply uh basically kind of just snowball rolled me out of the game game one game two um it was close. He had the no good to me for my boba flip. I didn't have it for his. Um, I was pushing. I got him to like 26 HP. He dropped a reinforcement walker, healed three, and then it was kind of like I had a one. I had a seventh fleet in space that I could keep pushing three. And I was trying to steal the game that way by like top decking a cunning. And I never saw one. At one point, he had, I think, an extra damage on. Oh, because he played a crumb at some point. But uh, at some point, I could have top-decked a surprise strike for lethal also. I had six six outs. Never saw him. So I ended up getting 2 0 there. Uh, overall, I'm not... I'm content with my performance, I guess, right? But I'm not pleased, if that makes sense. A top is a top, right? It's, it's hard to top in any decent sized event but it is technically my worst performance so far and i don't i don't want to say it's because of the deck or anything i think it's just the meta and that kind of leads me into where i'm talking at the end here uh i think i'm not positive if this will be what i'm gonna take to pqs 
originally I was pretty sold on it. I was like, this has a good Sabine matchup. Mirror match is just a skill matchup always. But the amount of control that I saw just there alone was frightening enough to where I feel like this isn't going to be my list because Kira is a tough matchup for this. There are other control esque matchups that also feel bad, which is strange, but I don't know. It's just even like I'm planning on, I think as of right now, at least I'm not dead set on anything still. I'm still totally up in the air about what I'm going to be playing, but I think a good meta read, I guess it is also area dependent, but after all the bosks that have been topping the events lately, um, I think that either Boba Green, since it has a more grindy aspect to it, or I think Double Han Yellow, since it has such a good control matchup, but you need to hope that you don't run into Boba Yellow, because that is that deck's worst matchup, right? But... I think if you're expecting to see a lot of control and you don't want to play it, obviously, I would look into Double Han Yellow or Bar Boba Green, but I'm not positive. It's all with a grain of salt. Maybe we'll see how the... I mean, I, my PQ is at the end of the month of October, so I'll technically get to see how the meta shapes up around with the rest of them but if you're watching this and you have one of the earlier pqs me personally i would make the read that you're going to see a fair amount of control and look into that but who knows uh, we'll see i guess pqs are coming up pretty quick uh hopefully we get to see some of those results and hopefully boba stays relevant but at the same time who knows? I feel like every big event has had Boba Yellow in the tops, right? But never winning. It's always the bridesmaid. Um, I was also a bridesmaid this weekend. Um, it is what it is, though. Like I said, I'm content, but not oversatisfied. Um, and then, last but not least, I want to say I got a top eight uh, what it was. Let me see. It was very, actually, a lot more diverse than I thought it was going to be. But it was a Bosk Green with ECL, uh, Kira ECL, me on Boba Yellow, the guy I played on Boba Green, uh, one Han One Blue, which was strange. I didn't get a chance to look at the list or anything, but it was... Apparently not horrible, I guess, but I don't, me personally, I don't know why you would run that as a control deck, but it panned out for him. Maybe he's got some good reps on it, but I just feel like Heroism doesn't have the crazy top end. Maybe it was, I, I don't know, it's a weird one. Then there was a Han 2 blue, and then there was two Sabine green ECLs. I think Sabine ended up winning the whole thing. I didn't stick around. It was like a two-hour drive for us. Um, didn't end up sticking around after I lost my matchup. And on their Discord, it was a Sabine versus Sabine mirror. So there was that. Um, so Shout-outs to them for putting on the event. It was Gone Guy Games in Beaverton. But, yeah. Other than that, that was pretty much my recap of the weekend. Let me know what you think of the list uh, or my performance, the recap, whatever. Just the video in general. Uh, let me know what you're planning on playing at your PQs if you're going. Um, I'm just kind of looking to see what I can expect, you know, or what anyone can expect. What, what will the meta be? But, yeah, that's all I got for this one. So make sure to drop a thumbs up for me. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.